Hey, it's me again, coming at you with a brand new update. The fire did jump the line. Um, we, Lame Deer has evacuated again. All the businesses in Lame Deer has shut down. Everything, it's, it's terrible in Lame Deer. I went back, thought it was safe, but the fire has jumped the line again across, across of my res home and it jumped a lot of fire lines. So tonight, last night was very windy. I stayed up last night, very windy. I knew something was gonna happen. I knew we were gonna eventually evacuate again. They shut down all the businesses in Lame Deer. The, they, and you know, if push comes to shove, the electric company said they will shut off our power. So I am here right now, back 21 miles away from this fire because uh, it's very smoky and it, and it's just it's just an ongoing thing a very 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 nightmarish thing going on here and it's just bad everywhere this fire is taking a toll on a lot of people and it's taking a toll on my mom and her bit and her, and her job and Nobody can work because of this fire, especially for the tribe. The tribal building's totally shut down. Everybody says, go home, flee, you know, try to stay away from the fire, evacuate Lame Deer again. So they're getting everybody ready in Lame Deer to evacuate to Billings, Montana, where they are far away from the fire they can get. A lot of people are staying home because of their houses. Some of them are not evacuating, and uh, everybody um, everybody uh, got shut down with business-wise. I mean, the whole tribe, um, clinic again, everything shut down. It's really bad. This fire has taken a toll on everybody, and like I said, you know, we just got word from our tribal president again that... We need to evacuate again. So we are evacuated again. And uh, we're 21 miles away from the fire. We'll be here for a couple days and nights again. Until they can decide when the fire is going to end up burning out or something. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.